Hey, this is Brett and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. This one's got some really special features on it, including the Luxury Tech Group 2, the black appearance package, the passenger interactive display, as well as the panoramic sunroof, Vista roof on this one. This one also has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine and it's paired up with the eight speed automatic transmission. This one's gonna get you 26 miles per gallon on the highway 19 city for an average of 22 miles per gallon. Interesting note that the Grand Cherokee, the short version gets one mile per gallon better fuel economy on both highway and city than the L. Found that interesting. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm gonna go all the way around in this video. Inside, start it up, show you all the options, turn all the lights on at the end of the video, and probably give you the, one of the most in-depth walk-arounds on the new Grand Cherokee that you're gonna find anywhere. Baltic gray is the color on this one, and you can see the black appearance package gives you the gloss black around the seven-slotted grill, the gloss black on the lower valence there as well as around the fog light and headlight bezels. These are all LED lights on here. I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video, so definitely stick around for that. The black appearance package also gives you the gloss black on the Jeep lettering on the hood. This one also has the front bumper parking sensors, and we'll get into what that is part of. I'm sure it's part of the luxury tech group too. Uh, take a look at this Baltic gray paint. It's got a lot of metal flake in it. Um, a lot of blues and some purples and just a really cool color. Get a better look at it right there. But it's got really fine metal flake as opposed to like the granite crystal that had um, a little bit bigger metal flake. So the Black Appearance Group also gives you the 20 inch gloss black wheels. And this one has Pirelli Scorpion 265 50R20 tires and definitely like a highway tread pattern to them. These are Scorpion Verdes, but uh, really nice tires on here and the wheels look really good. You also get the gloss black on the back of the headlights, or uh, back of the mirrors, I should say, as well as the gloss black around the doors and up on the roof rack sill there. So uh, nice bit of styling there. Also the Grand Cherokee and the American flag is blacked out on the door there. Let's take a look at the original window sticker. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. 2024 Grand Cherokee Limited 4x4. Baltic gray metallic clear coast color. Global black interior. You get the Capri leatherette access to seats. The 3.6, the eight speed automatic transmission. It does have ESS or electric or electronic start stop. And uh, also has the Jeep Wave membership, Quadratrack 2 system. Contratac one system, I should say, four wheel drive. Select terrain, everything here is your standard equipment. Like I said, feel free to pause this if you wanna look at everything. You get the Uconnect 5 with the 10.1 inch display, Apple, CarPlay, Android Auto, I believe those are wireless now, and everything right there. The first optional equipment is the Baltic Gray Metallic, which is a $595 option. Uh, thing to note, any color other than white is gonna be $595. Um, I think maybe like the ivory white might be more, but almost every color is $595. Luxury Tech Group 2 is a $29, $25 option. You get the Capri Leatherette Access 2 seats, the ventilated front seats, intersection collision assist system, park sense front and rear park assist with stop, surround view camera, rain sensitive windshield wipers, rear view auto dimming digital, digital display mirror, Rear backup camera washer, integrated off-road camera, manual second row window shades, which are really nice, automatic dimming exterior driver mirror, door and lift gate passive entry, memory steering column, and power tilt and telescopic steering column. You get the black appearance package, which is a $27, $25 option, gives you the 20 inch gloss black wheels, the uh, Pirelli Scorpion Verde tires, the, those are all season tires, and the gloss black exterior accents, which we just went over. Dual pane panoramic sunroof is a $25, $15 option, and the front passenger interactive display is a $1,095 option. Total MSRP on this one is $62,430. If you want to get your summit price with the rebates and incentives on this very Jeep in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below is a link to our website, so click that 
and go to our website and check out the pricing on there. Three year 36 bumper to bumper and five year 60 powertrain. There are your miles per gallon, 26 highway, 19 city, 22 average, five for the greenhouse gas rating and a seven for the smog rating, which seven is closer to the best that you can get uh, than not. And then you get five star front and side crash test radiance not rated yet for the overall vehicle score or rollover. So um, very safe vehicles on the Grand Cherokees. There was one I just did that had five stars pretty much up and down the board. Uh, so Grand Cherokees, very safe vehicles to haul your family in. There's the passenger side interactive display. I'll turn that on in just a little bit. We'll finish with the outside walk around and show you the rest of that gloss black accents, which go around the top of the glass there as well as around the back lights the limited jeep and 4x4 logos are also gloss black and then this trim piece underneath the reflectors on the bumper is gloss black as well you also get the backup parking sensors this is a power lift gate a lot of room on the grand cherokees one of the easter eggs that they've done is they have a grand cherokee on the window here from the very first version of the Grand Cherokee to the latest model. So that's a pretty cool uh, display, I think, that they did with those Easter eggs. You get a spare tire back here and jack tools. Get the power lift gate button. These seats do fold down nice and flat. I got that one reclined right now just to show you how that is, how much it reclines compared to the other one. So we'll check that out in just a second. Press that button. It still beeps at you three times and begins its descent on the fourth beep. LED tail lamps as well. Like I said, I'm gonna turn all those lights on so you can see just how bright they are. Grand Cherokees all have the capless fuel fill, never get gas on your hands again. And you can tell that it has the enter and go system if it's got these three little lines there. Blind spot monitoring and mirrors, heated mirrors, built in directional signals and that gloss black on the back of the mirror. Second row seats, like I said, they do recline. So like that's the normal position for the seats and then that's how much they recline. So um, not a ton, but definitely enough to relax a little bit. Latch child safety system. They have these covers to cover up the latch system. And then it's Velcro that you can put in there so it sticks. So that's kind of neat. Uh, factory floor mats that button in so they don't move around. You also get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in, as well as heated seat buttons. So these seats are heated on the passenger side and the driver's side. You get those sun shades, which are really nice. I wish my van had those for the kiddos, but it doesn't. Wood grain trim on the door and child safety locks on the back doors as well. Go check out the interior here. The Luxury Tech Group 2 gives you those Capri leatherette access to seats. You get the white stitching on there. They look really good. Really nice material. Both these seats are heated and cooled and driver's side lumbar factory floor mats, of course. Auto headlamps, power tilt and telescopic steering wheel, part of that Luxury Tech Group 2. Power windows, locks and mirrors and memory driver's seat. Get that nice wood grain trim. It's got a good design to it. Hop inside, take a look at the instrument cluster and radio. Get the nice 12 inch display up there, digital speedometer, temperature display. Um, you can change all those corners to read pretty much whatever you want. Very similar to the seven inch, but bigger. And you can do a little bit more with it, including um, there's like several screens that you can have up like miles per gallon, lane, or adaptive cruise control, your off-road pages, what the radio is doing, all that good stuff. So a lot of really cool things that you can do with that instrument cluster has the heated leather wrap steering wheel. They've made the uh, leather on these steering wheels like a really soft touch, but it, it's like firm, but soft touch, really nice leather. They did it on the Wranglers too. I really like the material they're doing the steering wheels with. Hopefully they, it's a, you know, it lasts a while. Durable. Adaptive cruise controls, regular cruise controls, Bluetooth and information center controls, and that button puts up those several screens right there. You get audio controls in the back, and then you get paddle shifters on there. That's for sport, <clears throat> sport mode with your select terrain system. Here is the Uconnect 5 10.1 inch 
radio, you can see it does have the factory navigation system and the Uconnect 5 system is supposed to be five times faster than the Uconnect 4 system in regards to the navigation and just switching between apps. Speaking of apps, you get your media center here, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities, as well as Bluetooth, auxiliary, and USB hookups, and Alexa right there. You get your climate controls here, including your dual climate controls and your heated and cooled seat buttons, as well as your heated steering wheel there. You get your vehicle with all your different screens on here, including the surround view camera, which is a great system, and you can see just how crystal clear those are, as well as the backup camera, the wide view of the backup camera, the wide view of the front cam, the narrow view of the front cam, and then the normal backup camera which takes up the full screen you can zoom in on that back area if you put a hitch on this vehicle you can zoom in on that to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer and then you have the off-road trail cam which you can see those are dynamic grid lines for your tires to see where they're going to go so if you're on a trail that you're not going to hit a rock or a rut or maybe you want to hit a rock or a rut so that you're not going to uh, go off the trail so that's pretty cool and you can clean the camera right there in it waste all the windshield washer fluid so that's pretty cool and then you get all your different apps on here and now i'm not going to go through everything but if you guys want me to go through something in particular just let me know uh, but you get all these apps for media you get your comfort apps right there heated and cooled seat buttons you get your nav your phone um your vehicle with the surround view camera and everything and you can press these stars to make them favorites and then they'll show up in your favorites menu and then you get other and uh sorry about that and then you also get off-road pages here which i'll show you those so you get your steering angle your transfer case if it's locked or unlocked rear axle locker if it's locked or unlocked you get your accessory gauges on here as well pitch and roll and then uh, select terrain so that's part of the uh, select terrain system right there so if i push up you got snow, sand, mud, auto, and then if you do sport, it takes you to the drag strip, and that's when you can use those paddle shifters on the steering wheel. And then you can go to the front camera as well. You also have latitude, longitude, and altitude on there, so a lot of really cool things you can do with that radio. Down here, your more tactile volume tune and climate controls, including your more tactile heated and cooled seat buttons and heated steering wheel controls. Dual climate controls right there. There's your wireless cell phone charge pad. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, as well as an HDMI hookup for that passenger screen. And you can see that passenger screen right there. So like if you hooked up a gaming system to the HDMI, uh, you could project it right up there and play video games if you're the passenger. Obviously, you can't do that if you're the driver, but if you were the passenger, you could hook that up, plug it into the back, and it's a pretty cool system. Uh, you get your 8-speed automatic transmission, the nice gloss black there and around the radio and on the dash trim as well. Keyless entry with remote start and power lift gate button. That uh, key fob sits right in here. You got a spot for it. Sorry, we have our um, addendum paper in there. Anyways, uh, that sits right like so. And uh, the wood grain trim on the dash there looks really good. This one also has the panoramic sunroof, second row fixed glass, power sunroof in front. You get your map lights, assistant SOS buttons, sunroof and sunshade controls as well as your rear gate controls. And here's your rear view mirror camera. So that is a video digital display of what's going on behind you. Um, you can raise it, lower it, brighten it, dim it, and you can turn it off and just make it a regular rear view mirror if you wanted it also is an auto dimming mirror but if you like that you can turn it on or off all right let's start it up take a look under the hood also turn all those lights on and do a final walk around here and if you have any questions just write them in the description or the comment section below and i'll try and answer them best i can i'm on youtube all day every day and I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality condition options of this vehicle and uh, looks and styling of course as well. All those LED lights are very bright and you get the yellow LED or orange LED lights, running lights on there. Under the hood, the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, 293 horsepower, um, very, very reliable engine for Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. There is the emissions sticker. 
And uh, like I said, I'll do one more final walk around here. And thanks for checking out the video. Any comments, questions, concerns, or scathing rebuttals, let me know in the comments section below and I will try to answer or um, help you out in any way with any questions in that comments section. Thank you so much for checking out the video and to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Grand Cherokees, Cherokees, Compasses, Renegades, Gladiators, you name it, we got to go to the website right there, summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day as well as having access it's one of the largest catalogs of vehicle in Grand Cherokee walkarounds on YouTube, almost 9,000 videos and counting. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Grand Cherokee videos I've ever done in the upper right, link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to be offering the brand new 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Black Appearance Package with the Luxury Tech Group 2 in Baltic gray metallic clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.